It is just after 1 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go to the airport. Oh, not awake. I'm gonna go to sleep. <sighs> David dropped me off at the airport. Can you see him back there? It is like 3 in the morning right now. It's 2. Yeah, it's after 3, right? Like 3, yeah. Uh, way too freaking early o'clock. But I'm off to Baltimore. I'm so excited. Bye, love. I'm Bye. really going to miss you. <laughs> so, yeah. Here we go. I have to catch a flight around 4.30. There goes my Dave. Bye, love. Awesome. No waiting. Gotcha. No waiting. Do, 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 do. This is Delta. Oh, wait. That's Southwest. Oh, it's close enough. I'm going to Southwest. And I'm gonna go to the little machine, so I don't have to talk to anybody. It's too early in the morning for that. I have a thing on my phone. I'm not checking my bags to make it easy. Next curiosity is maybe I have to talk to someone. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna put my phone down so I can talk to someone and socialize. Like I said, it's too early o'clock for that. Well, maybe I'm gonna know that's all Delta. Wow, you have to actually talk to a human today. Uh, sometimes I can get in and out of this terminal without talking to anyone. But I guess that's not going to be the case today. So I'm going to have to go through the full service line. Ding. That's one of the fa my favorite things about Southwest. So a little bit of a little bit of a hashtag fail today. But not the end of the world. So I'm traveling light. That way I don't lose anything. Everything I'm taking with me is super important and necessary and essential for my presentation. So I don't want to check any bags just to be safe. Alrighty. Early morning in the airport, I've made it through security. And it was like, the first time ever, it was a breeze. I didn't get a pat down or any kind of trouble. It was really great. <laughs> I always have trouble. I always just look confused, I think. Like, so people think I'm up to something because I'm like, oh, where am I going? I'm so lost. So now I gotta go uh, find my gate. I really need a drink, but I don't think anything opens till 4 a.m. It's a bad smell. My senses are really sensitive this morning because I haven't gotten enough sleep. Everything is really intense. The lot, the music is really in my face. The smells are not good. Oh, Juice Land, are they open? Are they open? They're not open yet. Dang it. That would be the answer to all my problems. Peach tortilla. Okay, no, no, that's the answer to all my problems. Oh, what? Peach tortilla, when do you open? Oh, I'm so down on that when they open. This is like a local Austin thing, so unless you're local, you won't probably know about peach tortilla. But, oh my gosh, it's so good. It used to be a food truck. And then Juice Land is where the smoothies and the fruits and the goodnesses are. So, before I hop on my plane at around 4.30, I'm gonna definitely get something deliciously healthy and feel myself, even though I'm honestly really nauseous just because I'm so tired. But I think I need to eat because I haven't had a lot of nutrition. And that, I, I, that is probably adding to why I don't feel very good right now. Because I'm not nourished. And I'm about to go give a presentation talking about how to like take care of yourself and self-care, blah, blah, blah. And I have not been doing a great job of self-care. So that's ironic. I'm going to have to do some self-care while I'm on this trip. To, I'm going to make an effort to squeeze it in. <laughs> So I got myself a nice smoothie and a place to sit and a breakfast for later, like a vegan gluten-free bowl. And then this, because I couldn't resist. And I need more hands. It's going gold! Silver, gold. <laughs> so awesome. 
so that's fun. I think one difference between autis autistic travel and non autistic travel is I'm really like, before I leave, I'm like, oh, let me get my last bit of Austin food that I know I can count on before I head out. And someone who's not autistic is probably like, oh, I can't wait to try the new food where I go somewhere new. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna eat when I get there. But, you know, it's like, I know Juice Land, gluten free and healthy and good for me. But I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna eat when I land in Baltimore. So it's like, oh, hurry, get some good food now because who knows what I'm gonna eat when I get there. Mm. I'm in a bad habit of not recording when like I'm getting onto planes and things. I'm on the plane. It's really cold on the plane. I'm really freezing. I'm like, uh, like shivering like so hard right now. It's probably not even that cold, but I am so cold right now. It's still dark outside. It's still dark 30. My hand's shaking. I can barely hold the phone still. There's a big face on that plane over there. It's okay. I'm comfy. Should be like a three hour flight. Not too bad. I'm gonna put my headphones in and just listen to my talk on repeat. It's just like over preparedness. I just have to do, feel good about everything. But I'm like tucked in and snuggled and ready to go. I think we're almost ready for check off, take off. Yay. I'm ready. I'd like to point out the safety features of the Boeing 737-700. Yes, to fasten your seatbelt, slide the flat metal end into the buckle. To release, lift up on the buckle. Exits, two door exits in the back, signs overhead, lights on the floor lead to an exit. There is a safety information card in the seat back pocket in front of you. And a life vest underneath your seat. Pull on the red strap, open the container, remove the pouch, remove the vest, place the vest over your head, wrap the black strap around your waist, passing through the cabin to make sure you're in full compliance, your seat belts are fastened, seat backs and tray tables in the funnel behind, between the green stick people, another sign just like in the back, the door to the Ford Laboratory opens up over here to the side, most important thing you need to know about the Ford Laboratory, if it is occupied, TSA and the Department of Homeland Security prohibits anyone for any reason under any circumstances forming a line or standing in the Ford Galley area. You must wait at your seat or you can use the lavatory in the back with no restrictions. If you have little ones need a diaper changing table, it is in the forward lab. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look down. Make sure your seat belts are fastened securely around you. We've been cleared for takeoff.
to be pulling into and parking into A10. Gate number A is at Alpha 10. That is the gate we are coming into. That's not really up for debate. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I need to reserve my rental car. It's really cold over there, out there. I'm waiting for my Uber driver. She should be here in like a couple minutes. She was on the upper deck and I was on the lower deck. So I was like, she should be here. Where is she? She was literally like right above me. So now she's swinging back around. It's a 40 something dollar Uber. And I think that's without tip. I don't know, but the lift was 50 something. That's really expensive here, but it is a long drive. I don't want to go out there, it's cold. I'm looking for a white Nissan. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm here. I've got myself to the hotel and found myself a dark, quiet corner to sit in. I'm so thrilled to be somewhere dark and quiet for the first time since I arrived at the airport. Oh, thank goodness. I am just feeling completely worn out. I don't know what time it is right now, but they said they probably won't, my home room won't be ready anytime soon, which I knew I'm really early. They said maybe around noon. Um, so I just wait. And I, I'm content with that. I've got some things to work on here, so I'll sit in my little quiet corner and um, work on some things. This is interesting. I have this map, but I don't know what it's all. I can't find my room. I'm so confused. This place is huge. Like, I... I don't, I literally don't even understand how to read this map. I'm gonna have to go and say, hey, can you please, I need someone to walk me to my room. Like, I've just been wandering around and I, I'm really confused and I don't feel like I'm getting any closer. I'm just walking in circles. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find my hotel room by myself. Oh my God, this is like really confusing. This place is just so big. Oh my gosh, okay. Thinking map. And I'm only on the, supposed to be on the first floor. And it's like, I'm only trying to figure out the first floor. And then I ordered my food on Uber Eats because I was like, oh, well, I've got a whole hour before I can get my room. And then, it, then by the time I get room service, it'd be 1.30. So I was like, I need to eat now, I'm dizzy. And so I ordered the food and now the food's not gonna be until 1.30. And I wish I wouldn't have ordered Uber Eats, and now it's too late to cancel it. So by the time I find my room, I'm gonna have to go find the lobby. I'm thinking about just letting the food go and not getting it because I just want to sleep. Oh my gosh. There's just hallways and hallways and different hallways and different ways to go, and I think I already came from that way. <sighs> I don't know. None of this makes sense. I'm gonna drop my computer. This is a bit. <sighs> this sucks. This sucks a lot. I'm pretty sure I'm just going in circles. This is why I need David here. I'm gonna cry right now. I'm not gonna cry right now. I hate this. I just wanna sleep. I gave up and I had someone walk me to my room. Uh, so I found, my, I found my room, but not on my own. Like I had to have it all, I couldn't do it. Um, what's concerning, really concerning to me, is literally my food's about to arrive and now I have to find my way back to the lobby. I'm not even sure I can find my way back to the lobby and then back to this room. Oh, come on. Oh, got it. Okay. Let's get in here. All the things. All the things. Oh, I think 
goodness. Okay. Oh, I'm so ready for a nap. There's a patio here. With my own little uh, balcony. It's kind of nice. A little private balcony, I guess. You know, people are cigarette smokers and not, but uh, natural light. I need to check the delivery drive for the favor or the Uber, whatever the food thing is. Man, I am not gonna be able to find the lobby or my room. This is gonna be, this part is gonna be awkward because this hotel is so confusing. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna settle in guys and stuff. So I'm just exhausted and it is time for a nap. Okay, I can't lay down. I just got the text that my food is gonna arrive at any minute. It's probably gonna take me that entire time to find my way back to the front desk. Uh, hopefully there's big signs for the lobby. My Uber Eats is almost here. Please meet your career. Okay, time to go get the food. Food time and then sleep. Food and sleep. Food and sleep. Food and sleep. I just walked right to the door and stabbed the handle in the back of my rib cage. I am such a disaster. Oh, see, I'm really confused. Where's the lobby? Where's the lobby? Oh, lobby. Lobby this way. Signs. Okay. Let's see. How fast can I find the lobby? Do 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 do. You see her? I stopped recording real quick because I got embarrassed, but she's the one who had to help me like, in my room. Okay, so I'm gonna come this way. I'm trying to like remember lobby this way. I'm trying to remember which way I came from so I can get back to my freaking room after I go find my food. This is gonna be a long weekend where I get lost over and over again, most likely. But that's kind of typical for me when I go any place new. That's why I don't like new places that much. I think I may have made it. Is this the lobby? Almost? Yes. Yes, I made it, I think. I think this is where I need to be. No. Wait. Is this where I need to be? I don't think this is where I need to be. I think this is almost where I need to be. Ah, oh, I thought I was doing so good. Okay, no, this looks good. This is good, I found it. I'm right, this is where I need to be. Yep. Hi. Food delivery. I don't know if it's coming yet. Okay, so finding the lobby was half the battle. Finding my room is probably gonna be the hard part again. But I'm gonna try really hard, like, maybe I'll watch the video back and use that to find it. I don't know. My food's not here, I beat the guy. I speed walked here. Food. I have a warm coconut water. That's kind of unappealing. It is literally like warm. Not that even room temperature, it's warm. That's okay, I think I have, I, I can get ice. I can, or I can put it in the fridge if there's a fridge. I haven't even looked yet. Okay, try to find my room this time. Let's see how this goes. Do, 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 do. Okay, I found my biggest mistake. My biggest mistake last time, because I went that way. I should be going this way. So that was where I went all wrong. And then the map made me even more confused because I just completely misread it. But that girl like walked me through and pointed me all the signs. She was so nice. I really wasn't gonna find my room on my own. Yay! I got it this time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I think I got it. I don't know yet. Maybe I don't got it. 
Oh, do I go it? Wait, is this right? I don't know if this is right now. I'm so confused. Maybe this is right. I'm so full of doubt and concern. Oh, wait, maybe? Yeah, 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 okay, I think this is right. I really don't know. It all looks the same. It's warm in here, at least. Uh, 1109, yeah. Yes! Oh my god. I did it. I did it. I really did it. I was like, I don't want to have to ask her to help me find my room a second time. That was going to be embarrassing. I, I was, well, I was going to ask someone else. Where's my key card? I was literally gonna ask someone else, like, hey, I don't know, I'm lost again. But, here we're good. So maybe that means I'll be able to find my room this weekend. <sighs> I gotta go eat my soup, chill my coconut water for later, and take a nap. See if I can open my door. Here we go. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. oh boy. That's enough excitement for the rest of my life. Not really the rest of my life, but. All right, I'm gonna eat my soup now and then take a nap. Whew. So I have made myself, I have made myself very comfy. I turned the heater up to 80 and I wrapped myself up in a blanket and I have my hot and spicy vegetable soup. Everything warm, hot, spicy. And I have my warm coconut water it's actually not that bad. I just didn't want to go back out into the hallway again and find the ice machine. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to eat the soup and then just pass out. I've got the blinds closed and I just need at least two hours, I think, for just a nap. Whew, it's been a long day. I'm officially settled, I think. I took a little nap, a very little nap, and then I woke up. It was really cold and I couldn't warm up. So I took a scalding hot bath and then I was overheated and it made me dizzy so I got out in like 15 minutes. My body is not regulating temperature very well. I don't know if it's because I'm tired or what. It could be like an overload brain tired thing maybe. Good morning, I'm here. This is my room. And so I'm doing the presentation twice so that this room can be filled with people twice. I'm really excited. We're all set up here. Well, I'm gonna get myself set up, but the room's all set up. Ooh, look at that. This is great. Passion, persistence, perspective. So I've got my computer set up. That was the main thing, it's just making sure I got this all set up. I'm about to go, after I set up my camera stand and things, I'm gonna go enjoy some of the sessions and see the material that's about to start. So I'm back in the airport and about to head home. How exciting. You can't see that flame back there, it's too bright outside. It looks really awesome. I am really worn out. It's been a great weekend. This public speaking, the presentation went amazing. It's been well received everywhere. Um, I'm really thrilled with how the weekend has gone. I am really not feeling well. Um, I haven't been feeling myself all weekend and I've been having some digestive issues and trouble with food. And it's been good, but I'm so thrilled to be heading home soon. I miss David. I miss the dogs, I miss the RV, I miss my normal foods. Um, the speaking is easy. <laughs> it's the travel that's difficult. I actually requested um, pre-boarding this time, the disability boarding. Uh, I don't usually request that, but I was just so out of it yesterday, I forgot to check in to my flight 24 hours in advance. And I don't think right now I could handle, if I accidentally got stuck where I could sit couldn't sit by a window and I had to sit in the middle of two people just with how I'm feeling right now today I, c I couldn't handle it so I, I asked for the first time ever I asked for priority boarding usually I would just pay for it I would just suck it up and pay for it I don't know why you know 
why torture myself? You know, those services are there for a reason, to help people. Um, so today I felt like I needed to take advantage of that, so I did. But uh, yeah, it's been a great trip and I'm, uh, I'm ready to go home. Check out the live video. It's on my Facebook page. Bye guys. Talk to you next time.